Is Smart Suite the ClickUp killer? That's what you're gonna find out in this video. Because it is no secret that ClickUp had its run. You know, hey, kudos to ClickUp. Thanks guys. Thanks guys for supporting an app that constantly just came out with bug after bug after bug after bug after bug. When they decided to make the leap forward and say they were gonna be one app to rule them all, I was like, all right, hey, good on you. Let's go, let's go. I was very supportive of it. And then there are so many bugs, it, it's painful because they tried too hard to expand their product offering. But what we have now is an application in Smart Suite that is beautiful, has a really nice pricing model of free with 1200 records per solution for three users. And then for $10, you basically get the unlimited users, more records than you're probably gonna need and then a uh, longer version history. So I would definitely recommend that for teams, you consider SmartSuite. I do have an affiliate link, full discretion will be down below if you wanna try it out. And the team plan is probably the best for most people. But just getting into some of the features, first of all, this does look a little bit like Airtable. I won't lie, like this whole like beginning setup here, but you know, inspiration, inspiration comes from good things and Airtable, and Airtable definitely has a good product. First of all, let's just add a new solution, which is sort of like a, a database, I guess, if you want to look at it like that. So here's this goals and objective page. So what it seems to do with this software is it does seem to make sure that as you can see, the uh, the clutteredness of the layout is a little bit better. So like on the top left here, you can go to the home page and you can change a lot of the different features in ways and views in ways that are a little less cluttered than a ClickUp space because on the left, it's like all covered. Uh, over here at the top, you can change the color of the solution to make it a little bit more uh, red. Um, and then you can change the specific icon as well up here. So let's do a chart. I always think goals chart. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice actually. And then over at the top right, you can see the different members, the start items, what's my work within here. And then this is just like, a, in my opinion, a much better uh, directory of, of like settings on the top right here. Very well laid out software and a little search bar right here um, with power search. So if I look up lower CAC, which is within down here, it shows the icon, shows when it was last updated, where it's at, and then you can actually go into the app and it'll pop you right in here. So if I go back somewhere else, do the power search again, do lower CAC, lack, I think it was. Oh, CAC. Oh, I typed it wrong and I still got it. I can either click on the thing or go to the app right here and then boom, you're right in there. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have multiple apps within this. So the app itself is this goals page and then there's this objective page, which is another app within the solution. So this is the solution you're in at the top and then the sub things here are the apps that you can also move around. Um, making a new app here. It's almost like another view. <laughs> Um, but I don't want to say it like that because you can obviously change the literal view right here. Similar to ClickUp and Notion, it's got grouping options. So this is grouping it by department. Spotlight. Okay, it's to buy, define a spotlight. Goal name is launch five new channel partnerships. Wow. And it will highlight it based on your preferences. Okay, that's really cool. Um, I do think that's actually a, a nice addition. So if it like save and if name contains, uh, yeah contains launch you can add multiple spotlights oh okay yeah i know i totally i totally like that um i can do the field or the record so the field would do it like that and then the record would change the color to just the entire overview of the record by highlighting more of it so that's that's an intriguing little feature notion's got to look at that one sharing the view with other people is possible very easily within here and you can even search within so once again we use uh, Elevate as an example. You can find it right there. Okay, row size, that is a nice one. I had never considered changing the size of the rows or auto sizing, sure. And then it's got your standard sorting, modifying field settings, adding filters, all this kind of stuff. Very standard to what you have, showing fields and not. So yeah, no, we're looking at something that like, honestly, man, you had a new record here. This doesn't look too bad. And it's got a lot of the stuff that ClickUp's got. So if you're like really sick of how ClickUp's looking, this is pretty much it. And my main thing about ClickUp right now is that, yes, is it beautiful in some ways? Does it have a really nice home view? Yeah, but the bugs, the bugs are the issue. If you can take ClickUp and get rid of the bugs and just have a bunch of different views, yeah, cards, grid, which is tensely is a table, Kanban, timeline, ooh, even a map view, that's kind of cute. And because there's no uh, map fields, it'll show you that, okay. 
Then a chart view. Sure, I'll take a chart view. Jeez Louise, yeah, no, let's just, I'm impressed. And the exportability doesn't look too bad either. A little PDF action, which is nice. And Adobe PDF, heck yes. And you can also go full screen on this too to work in the thing even more immersively rather than even having this at the top. It even got forms in here, which is pretty cool. So create from scratch. I'm sure the forms that actually look pretty nice for like the charts. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And if you're looking for a project management software that has automations, you're looking in the right place because it actually does. So at the top of any of these, what you can do is click on automations. So we can create my first automation. So essentially when, when a record matches a condition or when a record is created, when a form is submitted. All right. Yep. I'm down with it. You even got integrations coming soon. You got time based. So when a record is created add action. Oh my God, you can do integrations with these. I could send a Slack message, an email. All right, all right, it's visual. If you guys want me to make more videos on Smart Suite, comment down below because I want to review the heck out of this app. This has a lot of custom features. Just like you'll learn a lot more about custom features of other productivity apps if you check out this video right here.